Good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Ron Elkema, Commanding Officer of the 48th Highlanders of Canada. Each April, the 48th Highlanders conduct an Act of Remembrance Parade at St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church in Toronto. This year, due to the COVID-19 outbreak, we were not able to parade as a regiment. However, honoring our fallen and maintaining regimental traditions is important to us. Therefore, we are going to conduct this act of remembrance with minimum personnel and maintaining physical distancing protocols. With me are Reverend Will Ingram, Senior Pastor of St. Andrew's Presbyterian, Chief Warrant Officer Kwok, Regimental Sergeant Major, Major Don Aitchison, the Padre, Warrant Officer Ian Dewar, our Piper, and Master Warrant Officer John Murray, our Bugler. I invite you to watch this video and to witness our Act of Remembrance Parade, Delius Gubra, Faithful Forever. In order that all present may share in this act of remembrance, we offer this brief history of it. During the First World War, 1,467 men of the Regiment of the 48th Highlanders were either killed in action or otherwise died in active service. Within this church, where the regiment, since being raised in 1891, has worshipped, this communion table was placed by the sergeants' mess, comrades and friends of the dead, in memory of them. Their names are inscribed in the Book of Remembrance at the end of this communion table as an enduring memorial to them and as a way of honoring the sacrifice that they made. During the Second World War, 351 men similarly perished. Their names were then added to this Book of Remembrance. In this act of remembrance, one page of the Book of Remembrance is turned over each year and the memory of these gallant dead is honored after the manner traditional among soldiers. In this time of challenge, we also remember the young men and women who died this past week while engaged in training services. We pray for God's comfort to be with their families. We pray that God's comfort would be with all who serve. We pray that God's comfort would be with all who suffer. We pray with all those who long for the day when God's promised reign of peace and justice will be realized in this world. I now give you the key that you may turn over the page. Every year at this time, the regiment has come together to remember our fallen and to commemorate the Second Battle of Ypres. The Second Battle of Ypres was fought from the 22nd of April to the 25th of May, 1915. The 15th Battalion, 48th Highlanders, was almost completely wiped out at St. Julian in the first days of the battle. A week or so later, 105 years ago today, Lieutenant Alexis Helmer, a 23-year-old from Quebec, serving with the Canadian Field Artillery, was killed in Ypres by high explosive shell. The next day, his close friend, Captain John McRae, MO, 
began composing in Flanders Fields. The poem was published in Punch magazine in December of 1915, and a few months later, Lieutenant Colonel Marshall, commanding officer of the 15th Battalion, sent a copy of it to fellow Highlander William Hendry. Colonel Marshall himself would be killed a few weeks later in May 1916. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' field. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
us pray. Almighty God, through whose grace the 48th Highlanders came into being, and at whose hand we have served in war and peace, we thank you for old comrades and past glories, and humbly ask your guidance upon our current officers and members that we may continue to serve with honour and courage and remain faithful forever to God, Queen and Country in the best traditions of the past and with hope for the future. God bless the 48th. Amen. God bless the 48th.